Sharad, you are simultaneously a Tufts student majoring in international relations, and you are an international entrepreneurial personality recognized by the press in India and by Forbes magazine awarding you a place in their 30 under 30 list for social entrepreneurship. You have distinguished yourself by embodying one of Tufts' key tenets, service to others, by creating and operating a company, Dexterity Global, which is democratizing education by preparing and incentivizing students to achieve levels of education that will prepare them for admission to universities worldwide. This has involved hiring, training, monitoring, and most importantly, continuously leading your team of colleagues while you are at residence in India or at school at Tufts. Your nominator, Trustee Emeritus Bruce Mail, whom we're pleased to have with us tonight, speaks of your other recognitions. He is the only Tufts student that has been awarded a verified badge on Facebook and the first <laughs> and the first and only freshman to win the Tufts 100K entrepreneurial competition. You are also on the Rockefeller Foundation centennial list of the 100 next century innovators, have been awarded the David Foundation 100 Products for Peace Prize, and won Tufts University's Paul and Elizabeth Montel Prize for Entrepreneurial Achievement. You've accomplished all this while balancing your academic schedule and your on-campus commitment as manager of the Tufts ice hockey team, a sport you knew nothing about until you came to Tufts since it's not played in India. <laughs> Your achievements at such a young age and over such a short period are impressive, as is your commitment to creating access to opportunities for so many others. On behalf of the Tufts University Alumni Association, I'm delighted to present you with a 2016 Senior Award. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for the kind introduction. I'm truly honored to be receiving this award today. Uh, the first thing that I must confess before I even start talking is that I have this bad habit of not writing speeches. Uh, some seven, eight years ago, I decided that I was just going to say what I really, truly feel, feel and believe at a certain point in time, and that's how I've rolled. Uh, two to three weeks back, Bruce came down for the Wendell Phillips final, and I went in without a script. And he was almost mad at me, but he did not say a word. <laughs> but so here's what I've got to say. Uh, when I look at my own story, I come from a small town uh, of India. To attend Tufts, I think attending Tufts is a great honor for me, but the odds uh, were not very evenly placed when you look at my chances of even getting an education for myself. Uh, if I would have gone to any school or college in India, that in itself would have been a great accomplishment for a kid, uh, my kind. But I think I am truly grateful to a lot of people when I stand here today as an honoree for this award. I am grateful to my parents who decided that they, they were going to fight incredibly hard and send me and my siblings to school. Uh, I'm grateful to all those people because I've never paid for school in my life. And uh, I, I went to middle school. I was homeschooled for a long time, went to middle school and high school on a full scholarship, came to Tufts on a full scholarship. Uh, I'm grateful to all those people who truly believe that education has uh, a lot of power and every single kid deserves the opportunity to go to school or go to college. Um, I'm grateful to uh, people back in uh, my middle school and high school, uh, all the alumni, all the donors, uh, all the teachers, all the leaders and administrators back there. And uh, that applies the same to Tufts. When I came to Tufts four years back, uh, it was a great achievement uh, for me, and people wanted to really celebrate that achievement, but I knew what it meant. Uh, it meant that if I could come all the way from a small town of India, from a remote part, and uh, be a part of this great community on the hill, uh, be uh, a part of this jumbo family, it meant that there were a lot of kids who could do it. And while I was pursuing my education here at Tufts, I knew that there were a lot of kids who were uh, much smarter than I ever can be or could be. Uh, a lot of kids who worked harder than me every single day and they were not getting this opportunity. So the only way to pay back was that I continued to work in a field where we could create wider access to educational opportunities. I know what Tufts alumni do for us and even if we are paying for an education, trust me and believe me that uh, the tuition that we pay towards Tufts 
just does not pay enough for the rich experience that we get. Uh, we, we need to thank every single alumni, uh, every single uh, person in Tufts alumni, all our donors, people who make Tufts as magical a place as, as it is. And uh, the only thing that I wanted to add was that in my freshman year when I came into Tufts, people used to ask me, They're all right, you run this startup. Uh, what's going to happen? Like, what are we going to see when you want to look at the impact and everything? And I used to tell them that in five to 10 years' time, uh, you'll see kids from the Dexterity Network uh, who'll start coming to Tufts. And uh, right now, right before the award ceremony, I was talking to a couple of people, and they were like, we've heard there's a kid from the Dexterity Network who's a freshman here and who goes here on a full scholarship. And that's actually true. So that has started. And uh, I'm convinced that people at Tufts, uh, you've inspired me. You've inspired me in the locker rooms, uh, be it the Tufts varsity hockey team, or be it the Tufts University soccer team, basketball team, all, all sports teams. The way you inspire us, you have no idea when you go out there and play. Uh, and we are like go jumbos. We are basically getting inspired by the amount of work and dedication that you put in uh, on an like on and off the field, in classrooms and beyond. And it's uh, just truly incredible to be part of this community. And you've inspired me every single day. And trust me, even 20 years later, 30 years later, wherever I'll be, I'll forever be inspired by every single person who made my Tufts experience so rich. And I'll try and widen uh, these opportunities to a lot of people who truly are going to change the world. I don't know if I can, but I know a lot of people who can. So I'm just going to continue working with them. Thank you so much, everyone.